All right, everyone. I'm really excited to share this. I, I try to tell everybody. And um, this is my magnesium regimen. I do this twice a day, once in the morning, once before bed. And uh, you can do it anytime. And, but you have to be sure to start out with a low dosage because it takes your body a little while to get used to it. Um, I use this Calm Natural Vitality Original Unflavored. And um, there's a lot of things to delve into with that. Uh, by the way, these are blue blocker glasses. I do not need glasses, but I use them as much as possible when I'm using electronics and things like that. Um, we'll talk more about blue light, I guess, another time, but just so you know. So for this particular uh, supplement, it says a recommendation is to start out with half a teaspoon up to two teaspoons a day, which is how much I take. And I'm going to take these off because the reflection is a little distracting. So we'll start off with a little demo and uh, one super secret hack, which I can't exactly remember where I heard this, but magnesium is better absorbed in the body when you use alkaline water. So you want to have the cleanest water first of all and then you want to have alkaline water so i get this it is just a glass jar and i get it filled with alkaline water from whole foods 99 cents a gallon and uh, it's a great deal um we'll talk more about alkaline water and different products and things like that at another time but that's just to start you off with so here we go uh I'm just going to open this container with my legs, I guess. Alright, so here it is. It's a powder. Here's my favorite measuring spoon. Uh, I don't ever clean it because I just use dry powders. But, you know, whatever. Um, so you take your spoon. Uh, make sure you start off with the recommended low dosage. And I would even start off with just taking the half a teaspoon one time and just see how your body reacts um not to get too vivid but the risk of taking too much magnesium uh, especially this which is is it citrate magnesium carbonate uh you will get the runs if you take too much so one benefit for this not only does it help with stress it helps with digestive regularity which is um, maybe another issue that a lot of people suffer from so here we go i just take my little spoon that is now a teaspoon put it in my cup and it fizzes now um I guess I could do another demonstration. If you use hot water, it fizzes right away. So make sure if you're using hot water, you only fill a cup up like an inch or, or two of water because it fizzes really fast and it'll like kind of, <laughs> it'll get big. Okay, so here you can see it's dissolving on its own. It kind of fizzes. All right, and then um, the next ultra thing I do is um, I add apple cider vinegar to this just to get my magnesium and apple cider vinegar all in one go. Um, caveat, it does not taste good. If you don't like apple cider vinegar, uh, well, I really recommend just, you know, going for it. Just drink it as fast as you can because apple cider vinegar has such incredible health benefits it detoxifies your liver, it um, detoxifies your kidneys, it um, will give your skin a nice healthy glow, um, and I have, I've gone some time in my life not using it, and uh, I definitely noticed that I feel worse when I don't take apple cider vinegar every day, 
um, and my skin looks worse. So I put them both together in one go. Um, oh, and one thing why I use unflavored magnesium is that natural flavors are actually neurotoxins and this will manifest in your reactions to things like uh, interactions with people if you notice that you're like ch chewing gum was a huge thing for me I would chew like natural gum with natural flavors in it and um, I would just get irritable like uh, I don't want to say any bad words but you know I would be a little the B word and uh, so if you try cutting out natural flavors out of your diet you'll notice that at times when you would have a negative response to things you just kind of act normal and but this also goes differently for different people um some people are more sensitive than others so i happen to be very sensitive so anyway i uh since i only have my dry measuring spoon i actually just measure the apple cider vinegar in the lid and since three teaspoons is a tablespoon a recommended dose of apple cider vinegar is one tablespoon so i'll just fill this baby up three times pour it into my magnesium water mix it all up and then chug it really fast um another way sometimes i take it is if i'm doing hot water with the magnesium and the apple cider vinegar you can add like a couple teaspoons of honey and this will give you like a nice warm tonic. It's really soothing on your stomach, soothing on your nerves because anything warm actually calms you down and um, is good for your stomach. So that is my favorite secret daily hack that I do. And you can do it without the vinegar. Um, you can do it hot, you can do it cold. Um, you can do it really with any kind of water, but I recommend alkaline water and Start off with a small dosage. Okay Do not go from zero to two teaspoons a day Unless you want to be on the toilet. Okay And if you're not comfortable with the powder, you can also get it in capsules and there are really a strange uh, amount of different variations of magnesium there's like magnesium citrate magnesium chelate like i said i'm taking the magnesium carbonate and all of these different um variations actually have a different target of the body um i think i i started doing the powder because i was just taking too many capsules and i just got really tired of swallowing them so the the drink was nice and i can actually use this uh liquid version supplement to then take my other supplements so you know but whatever whatever works for you if you want to research taking uh capsules that's totally fine but i think uh, any variety of magnesium that you can add to your diet is great and i guess just one thing that popped into my mind you can if you don't like taking uh powders or capsules or maybe you just want to try something maybe whole, more holistic there are magnesium rich foods and off the top of my head i can't really think of one but i do know that yerba mate interestingly has a high amount of magnesium and uh, if you've ever drinking if that's the right word if you've ever <laughs> drinking yerba mate you feel calm, right? And it's not just the tea. It's not just that it actually is a high mineral tea. Uh, it has high magnesium, which is very relaxing on the body. And so you can try that as well. Um, I think that's it for now. This has been a long enough video. And we'll go for something new next time. And exciting. And I'm excited to share with you more knowledge. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a great, well, it's a night for me. Have a great night.